Jeremiah chapter 36 The scroll read in the temple In the fourth year of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord Take a scroll and write on it all the words that I have spoken to you against Israel and Judah and all the nations from the day I spoke to you from the days of Josiah until today It may be that the house of Judah will hear all the evil which I intend to do to them so that every one may turn from his evil ways and that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin Then Jeremiah called Baruch the son of Neriah and Baruch wrote up a scroll at the dictation of Jeremiah all the words of the Lord which he had spoken to him and Jeremiah ordered Baruch saying I am debarred from going to the house of the Lord so you are to go and on a fast day in the hearing of all the people in the lord's house you shall read the words of the lord from the scroll which you have written at my dictation you shall read them also in the hearing of all the men of juda who come out of their cities it may be that their supplication will come before the lord and that every one will turn from his evil way for great is the anger and wrath that the lord has pronounced against this people and baruch the son of neria did all that jeremiah the prophet ordered him about reading from the scroll the words of the lord in the lord's house in the 5th year of jehokim the son of josiah the king of juda in the 9th month all the people in jerusalem and all the people who came from the cities of juda to jerusalem proclaimed a fast before the lord then in the hearing of all the people Baruch read the words of Jeremiah from the scroll in the house of the Lord in the chamber of Gemariah the son of Shaphan the secretary which was in the upper court at the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house scroll read in the palace when Micaiah the son of Jeremiah son of Shaphan heard all the words of the Lord from the scroll he went down to the king's house into the secretary's chamber all the princes were sitting there Elishama the secretary Delaya the son of Shemaya Elnathan the son of Achbor Gemaria the son of Shaphan Zedekia the son of Hanania and all the princes and Micaia told them all the words that he had heard when Baruch read the scroll in the hearing of the people then all the princes said Jehudi the son of Nethania son of Shelemia son of Cushi to say to Baruch Take in your hand the scroll that you read in the hearing of the people and come. So Baruch the son of Neriah took the scroll in his hand and came to them and they said to him sit down and read it. So Baruch read it to them when they heard all the words they turned one to another in fear and they said to Baruch we must report all these words to the king. Then they asked Baruch tell us how did you write all these words was it at his dictation Baruch answered them He dictated all these words to me while I wrote them with ink on the scroll Then the princess said to Baruch Go and hide you and Jeremiah and let no one know where you are Jehoiakim burns the scroll So they went into the court to the king having put the scroll in the chamber of Elishama the secretary and they reported all the words to the king Then the king sent Jehudi to get the scroll and he took it from the chamber of Elishama's secretary and Jehudi read it to the king and all the princes who stood beside the king it was the ninth month and the king was sitting in the winter house and there was a fire burning in the brazier before him as Jehudi read three or four columns the king would cut off cut them off with a pen knife and throw them into the fire in the brazier until the entire scroll was consumed in the fire that was in the brazier yet neither the king nor any of his servants who heard all these words was afraid nor did they rend their garments even when elnathan and delaya and gemaria urged the king not to burn the scroll he would not listen to them and the king commanded jeremiel the king's son and seraya the son of azriel and Shelemia the son of Abdeel to seize Baruch the secretary and Jeremiah the prophet but the lord hid them Jeremiah dictates another 
Now after the king had burned the scroll with the words which Baruch wrote at Jeremiah's dictation the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah Take another scroll and write on it all the former words that were in the first scroll which Jehoiakim the king of Judah has burned and concerning Jehoiakim the king of Judah you shall say Thus says the Lord you have burned the scroll saying Why have you written in it that the king of Babylon will certainly come and destroy this land and will cut off from it man and beast Therefore thus says the Lord concerning Jehoiakim king of Judah he shall have none to sit upon the throne of David and his dead body shall be cast out to the heat by day and the frost by night and I will punish him and his offspring and his servants for their iniquity I will bring upon them and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem and upon the men of Judah all the evil that I have pronounced against them but they would not hear then Jeremiah took another scroll and gave it to Baruch the scribe the son of Neriah who wrote on it at the dictation of Jeremiah all the words of the scroll which Jehoiakim king of Judah had burned in the fire and many similar words were added to them Jeremiah chapter 37 Zedekiah's vain hope Zedekiah the son of Josiah whom Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon made king in the land of Judah reigned instead of Coniah the son of Jehoiakim but neither he nor his servants nor the people of the land listened to the words of the Lord which he spoke through Jeremiah the prophet King Zedekiah sent Jehuqal the son of Shelemiah and Zephaniah the priest the son of Maaseiah to Jeremiah the prophet saying pray for us to the Lord our God now Jeremiah was still going in and out among the people for he had not yet been put in prison the army of pharaoh had come out of egypt and when the chaldeans who were besieging jerusalem heard news of them they withdrew from jerusalem then the word of the lord came to jeremiah the prophet thus says the lord god of israel thus you shall say to the king of judah who sent you to me to inquire of me behold Pharaoh's army which came to help you is about to return to Egypt to its own land and the Chaldeans shall come back and fight against the city they shall take it and burn it with fire thus says the Lord do not deceive yourselves saying the Chaldeans will surely stay with us away from us for they will not stay away for even if you should defeat the whole army of Chaldeans who are fighting against you and there remained of them only wounded men every man in his tent would rise up and burn the city with fire jeremiah is imprisoned now when the chaldean army had withdrawn from jerusalem at the approach of pharaoh's army jeremiah set out from jerusalem to go to the land of benjamin to receive his portion there among the people when he was at the benjamin gate a sentry there named Irija the son of Shelemia son of Hanania seized Jeremiah the prophet saying you are deserting to the Chaldeans and Jeremiah said it is false i am not deserting the Chaldeans but Irija would not listen to him and seized Jeremiah and brought him to the princes and the princes were enraged at Jeremiah and they beat him and imprisoned him in the house of Jonathan the secretary for it had been made a prison When Jeremiah had come to the dungeon cells and remained there many days King Zedekiah sent for him and received him the king questioned him secretly in his house and said is there any word from the lord Jeremiah said there is and then he said you shall be delivered into the hands of the king of babylon Jeremiah also said to king Zedekiah what wrong have i done to you your servants or this people that you have put me in prison where are your prophets who prophesied to you saying the king of babylon will not come against you and against this land now here i pray you o my lord the king let my humble plea come before you and do not send me back to the house of jonathan the secretary lest i die there so king zedekiah gave orders and they committed jeremiah to the court of the guard and a loaf of bread was given him daily from the baker's street 
until all the bread of the city was gone so jeremiah remained in the court of the guard jeremiah chapter 38 jeremiah in the cistern now shephatia the son of matan gedalia the son of pashur jukal the son of shelemia and pashur the son of malaki heard the words that jeremiah was saying to all the people thus says the lord he who stays in the city shall die by the sword by famine and by pestilence but who goes out to the chaldeans shall live he shall have his life as a prize of war and live thus says the lord this city shall surely be given into the hand of the army of the king of babylon and be taken then the princess said to the king let this man be put to death for he is weakening the hands of the soldiers who are left in the city and the hands of the people by speaking such words to them for this man is not seeking the welfare of his people but their harm king zedekiah said behold he is in your hands for the king can do nothing against you so they took jeremiah and cast him into the cistern of malachia the king's son who was in the court of the guard letting jeremiah down by ropes and as there was no water in the cistern but only mire and jeremiah sank in the mire jeremiah is rescued by abedmelech when abedmelech the ethiopian a eunuch who was in the king's house heard that they had put jeremiah into the cistern the king was sitting in the benjamin gate abedmelech went from the king's house and said to the king my lord the king these men have done evil in all that they do did to jeremiah the prophet by casting him into the cistern and he will die there of hunger for there is no bread left in the city the king commanded abedmelech the ethiopian take three men with you from here and lift jeremiah the prophet out of the cistern before he dies so abedmelech took the men with him and went to the house of the king to a wardrobe of the storehouse and took from their old rags and worn out clothes which he let down to jeremiah in the cistern by ropes and then abedmelech the ethiopian said to jeremiah put the rags and the cloth clothes between your armpits and the ropes jeremiah did so then they drew jeremiah up with ropes and lifted him out of the cistern and jeremiah remained in the court of the guard zedekiah consults jeremiah again king zedekiah sent for jeremiah the prophet and received him at the third entrance of the temple of the lord the king said to jeremiah i will ask you a question hide nothing from me jeremiah said to zedekiah if i tell you you will you not be sure to put me to death and if i give counsel you will not listen to me then zedekiah swore secretly to jeremiah as the lord lives who made our souls i will not put you to death or deliver you into the hand of these men who seek your life then jeremiah said to zedekiah thus says the lord the god of hosts the god of israel if you will surrender to the princes of the king of babylon then your life will be spared and this city shall not be burned with fire and you and your house shall live but if you do not give in into the hand of the chaldeans they shall burn it with fire and you shall not escape from their hand king zedekiah said to jeremiah i am afraid of the jews who have deserted to the chaldeans lest i be handed over to them and they abuse me jeremiah said you shall not be given to them obey now the voice of the lord in what i say to you and it shall be well with you and your life will be spared but if you refuse to surrender this is the vision which the lord has shown to me behold all the women left in the house of the king of juda were being led out to the princes of the king of babylon and were saying your trusted friends have deceived you and prevailed against you now that your feet are sunk in the mire they turn away from you all your wives and your sons shall be led out to chaldeans and you yourself shall not escape from their hand but shall be seized by the king of babylon and this city shall be burned with fire then zedekiah said to jeremiah let no one know of these words and you shall not die if the princes hear that i have spoken with you 
and come to you and say to you tell us what you said to the king and what the king said to you hide nothing from us and we will not put you to death and then you shall say to them i made a humble plea to the king that he would not send me back to the house of jonathan to die there then all the princes came from jeremiah and asked him and he answered them as the king had instructed him so they left off speaking with him for the conversation had not been overheard and jeremiah remained in the court of the guard until that day that jerusalem was taken jeremiah 39 the fall of jerusalem in the ninth year of zedekiah king of juda in the 10th month nebuchadnezzar king of babylon and all his army came against jerusalem and besieged it in the 11th year of zedekiah in the 4th month on the 9th day of the month a breach was made in the city when jerusalem was taken all the princes of the king of babylon came and sat in the middle gate nergal sharazar samgar nebo sarsekim and the rabsaris nergal sharazar the rab mag with all the rest of the officers of the king of babylon when zedekiah king of juda and all the soldiers saw them they fled going out of the city at night by way of the king's garden through the gate between the two walls and they went toward the araba but the army of the chaldeans pursued them and overtook zedekiah in the plains of jericho and when they had taken him they brought him up to nebuchadnezzar king of babylon at ribla in the land of hamath and he passed sentence upon him the king of babylon slew the sons of zedekiah at ribla before his eyes and the king of babylon slew all the nobles of juda he put out the eyes of zedekiah and bound him in fetters to take him to babylon the chaldeans burned the king's house and the house of the people and broke down the walls of jerusalem then nebuzaradan the captain of the guard carried into exile to babylon the rest of the people who were left in the city those who had deserted to him and the people who remained nebuzaradan the captain of the guard left in the land of juda some of the poor people who owned nothing and gave them vineyards and fields at the same time Jeremiah set free remembers Abidmelech Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon gave command concerning Jeremiah through Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard saying take him look after him well and do him no harm but deal with him as he tells you so Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard Nebuchadnezzar the rabsaris Nergal Sharazar the rab mag and all the chief officers of the king of Babylon sent and took Jeremiah from the court of the guard they entrusted him to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam son of Shaphan that he should take him home so he dwelt among the people the word of the lord came to Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the guard go and say to Abidmelech the Ethiopian thus says the lord of hosts the god of israel behold i will fulfill my words against this city for evil and not for good and they shall be accomplished before you on that day but i will deliver you on that day says the lord and you shall not be given into the hand of the men of whom you are afraid for i will surely save you and you shall not fall by the sword but you shall have your life as a prize of war because you have put your trust in me says the lord